Hey guys, this is Tony with Dinner Geek Designs. Today I'm back with another InDesign tutorial. <coughs> Today I'm going to talk to you about how to publish an online document in InDesign. Remember, tutorial videos come out Friday, so get subscribed for that if you haven't already. So here we've got a portfolio that we want to publish online for people to view. So we could export it as an interactive PDF or we could click this button publish online and it will publish in a web link for us to send to people. So we're here, we're going to publish this document. You can add videos, links, buttons, animations, just about anything you could think of you can put in here. So we could publish a new document, give it a title, give it a description. We can allow people to allow viewers to download it as a PDF, but it has to be a print version. We can hide the share or bed options. We want to do that too. Let's go to advanced. We can choose what the cover thumbnail is. We can choose an image or the first page. We can choose format or size. Now let's go over here. We're going to want to update an existing one since we already have this selected. <clears throat> then we'll click publish. It's going to ask you, are you want to exist, update this existing list? We want to say yes. And it's going to go through it and it's going to start publishing it. It may take a little while depending on how big your document it is, but it's actually pretty quick for what it is. Okay, now it's done publishing. You can see we have this text box, we can view it, we can copy it, let's view the document. It's gonna open in a web browser, as you can see we had an animation. We've got our hover buttons, so we can go to our contact page, we can go to our menu. We've got all these hover states that work. Let's go to one of these. And our back and forward buttons work. Now a great way to use this is for, say if you have a document that you want to send one link to and always keep updated, like this portfolio for instance. We've got rollover states, we've got outward links, I mean there's so much you can do with this. So I personally use it for clients who need a big document that isn't going to be changed too much, but maybe change say twice a year, once a year, and they want a lot of documents in there. They can have the one link that they don't need to keep updating every time there's an update. They can have one link, it just stays that way. This is a great tool, honestly. It also gives you a lot of statistics on the back end, how many people have read it, how many views you have, how many individual people have read it, how long they've read, how long your average read is. So it's a good tool to have, and it's a good tool to have in your uh, toolbox to give your clients. Well, that's going to do it for this one, guys. This one's pretty short and straight to the point. But if you have any comments about how to publish online or publishing digital documents with InDesign, just leave them in the comments down below and I'll get back to them. Remember, the tutorial videos come out Friday, so get subscribed for that. And also there's a whole playlist above of InDesign tutorial videos and tutorial videos, so, get, so watch those if you haven't yet. And get subscribed if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.